In May of the year 2016, in Nairobi at the United Nations Environment Programme's headquarters, the second United Nations Environment Assembly will convene. Based on a decision by the Rio Plus 20 summit, when heads of state and government voted for a strengthening and upgrading of environmental governance, they took a decision to establish an environment assembly with universal membership. For the first time in over four decades of environmental governance within the United Nations system, an assembly, and in my mind almost a parliament for the environment, has been established in which every nation has a seat, a vote, and a means to influence its outcomes. The programme will be structured along an intergovernmental process that will address a number of decisions and resolutions that will set directions for the environmental agenda for the United Nations Environment Programme and also address to many of the actors in the environment sustainable development field that will be part of implementing the 2030 agenda. Our hope is that UNEA too will give voice and expression to both the role of the environmental dimension in the future development of our nations and economies. It will provide a magnet for scientists and scientific knowledge to interface with political leaders and policymakers, and also will provide the space in which civil society, business leaders, scientists and politicians can network through many of the dozens of side events and special events that will be happening in the run-up to UNEA, but also during the week. The future of making the Paris Agreement and also the 2030 Agenda and Sustainable Development Goals more honest and truthful to the notions of environmental sustainability will in part be defined by what happens at UNEA too. It is the next step in a long journey, but a vital step of making environmental governance an effective part of the overall governance and direction setting for sustainable development. Welcome to Nairobi in May of this year.